morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. It is indeed a new day the Lord has given unto us. It is another day that we should come worship Him and also thank Him for the mighty and great things He has done. Indeed, it is a privilege to be alive today, to be in good health. And if we have, even if we have challenges, there are always reasons to thank God. We are called to start our day with worship and also with praises. We come and enter his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts because we know that we belong to him. Everything that we have belongs to him. It is also a good morning to remember that you are alive today because God has a purpose for your life. Indeed, we have a purpose. We are alive to fulfill the purpose that God has, has created us to fulfill. I don't know whether you have been living a purpose-driven life, but if you have not, it is good to ask God to show you your purpose so that you can live a meaningful and a purposeful life. It is also good to see that we are here to worship him because that is the only thing that we can do to God. And as we continue with our monthly theme of giving, that giving as an act of worship, the Bible says that those who worship him should worship him in spirit and also in truth. So as we also think of giving as a way of worship, as an act of worship, let us think of it as giving in spirit and also in truth, coming from our hearts and also with faithfulness. Let us see giving as worship. Let us giving, let us see giving as an act of responding to God. In fact, giving is responding towards God's love for you and for me. We are so much privileged to be alive. We are so much privileged to have everything that we have today. Just look around, count your blessings, and you'll see reasons and many reasons to thank God. And therefore this morning, as we continue with this theme, I want us to continue thinking of this giving in many ways. As we continue to learn, may God help us that we have a teachable heart to continue learning so that we can also respond with thankfulness and also with truth and in spirit. And we have been seeing that giving should be voluntary. We've also learned that it is not by compulsion, that it should come naturally, that we are called to give, that God expects us to give. We've also seen and learned though a little about the different types of giving. And as we continue, we'll learn more and more about these different types of giving that we can give to God. It is good to say that our Christian giving is giving towards God. And giving towards God is giving towards God's work. When we give towards God's work and we help in building the kingdom of God, then we are giving sacrifices to him. We know we give in different ways. There are those who have given out their talents. God also expects us to give and use our abilities towards the work of his kingdom. It is also good and it is recommended that we also give sacrifices, monetary, in kind, to help the poor and also towards God's, God's work because we should love him even with our strength that everything we have belongs to him. So when we give, we just give a portion of what God has given us. In fact, he is calling us to give what he has given unto us. It is because we have received. That's why we should give. And today, I want us to see giving as a privilege. Brethren, our God, God is spirit. He is way, way above us. Not everyone, no one, is in the same level with God. And when we see Psalm 50, when he talks of the bulls belongs to him, that everything belongs to him, it is indeed true that there's nothing we can do, there's nothing we can give God to bribe him. If given an opportunity to respond to him, to respond to his love with giving, then we should take it as a privilege. A lot Paul has written in his letter to Corinthians, the second letter of Corinthians was chapter 9. And we see that Paul is reminding them that this is a privilege you have to give towards God's work. It is a, a privilege to give to God, knowing that everything belongs to him. All is his. So we are just privileged to give. It is also good to say 
that in the Old Testament we've seen that God would refuse sacrifices. So it is not automatic that when we give, he will receive. When he receives, then let us take it as a privilege. We are privileged this morning that you have an opportunity that God wants you to give so that he can accept your sacrifice, your giving as an act of appreciating his love, appreciating his blessings, appreciating the life that you live today. Is indeed a privilege to have such an opportunity knowing that many have looked for such opportunities but they cannot. Others have given and God has refused their sacrifices. Maybe because they have disobeyed or other, ways, or other reasons. But for us as Christians, God is calling us. And this man is teaching us that he's always ready to accept our sacrifices if we walk according to his path. It is also good to say that giving in itself is a gift. God has given us a gift. That opportunity is a gift that we should treasure. That God has blessed you with a purpose that you will give towards his work. Is indeed a blessing knowing that not everyone is as blessed as you. As you count your blessings and you see giving as that opportunity to respond to God's love, then you will indeed see that giving is a gift in itself. Number three, giving should be our priority. Now that it is a privilege, now that it is that rare opportunity, then we should see giving as our first priority to give to God. That every time we receive, we are quick to give because we know we have received from God. The reason we give tithes is because we want to do it as the first thing. Immediately we receive that earning. Immediately you receive those wages, that salary then automatically we should see tithing as our first priority. In fact, God wants the first, the first fruit, not the leftovers. Before you do the shopping, before you pay rent, before you pay the school fees, before paying even the tax, think of giving to God what belongs to him because it should be our first priority. When we say that God is our first priority, when God calls us, he calls us to see him as our first priority. Not only in our worship, but everything concerning our lives. Let us involve God, because God should be there in every part of our lives. But therefore, if we want to give, and give in spirit, and give in truth, then we must see giving as our first priority towards loving God that when we receive, we should go and give unto him what belongs unto him. May God help us that we may not be tempted to think of the debts we have or seeing how much we have earned. It is indeed true. No one has enough. It will never be enough. If we were to give out of our abundance, then we are not in abundance. We will say that we are lacking this, we are lacking that. We are all lacking something but because we know that by giving we show our trust to god that we will continue to, to receive from him then we respond by giving let us overcome that temptation of not giving by counting the expenses by counting the debts by looking unto others and seeing that they are not giving but let us see giving one as a privilege number two that God wants us to be, give us, and give as a priority. Let us give the best, and let us not be tempted to give the leftovers. Let us take every opportunity to give unto God. In tithes, in thanksgiving, the first fruits, any other sacrifice, let us be quick to see giving as a privilege. When we make our giving a priority, then our faith grows in God. When we make it a priority, that every time I receive, Paul is teaching the people of Corinthians that every first day of the week, set aside 
what you are willing to give unto God. When we make it such a priority, then our faith in God grows. We continue and we learn more and we grow more to trust in him. And we have faith in him because we know that we will not lack by giving, but we will continue receiving because we have given. Though we may not have earned enough, though we may have many needs, then giving becomes a sacrifice. It is sacrificial. That's why Paul is teaching us that when we give, let us give sacrificially. Because God wants us to see his love, to see his providence, and also for him he wants us to be obedient to his call. A call to just obey. Just obey by responding towards his love. It is a privilege. It is a priority. It is also a responsibility. God wants us to give regularly. Be consistent. Be, take it as a responsibility that God wants us to support his work. He is teaching the people of Corinthians that every day, the first day of the week, I would say that we don't receive the same time. We are, if you, are, you earn on a daily basis, it is therefore in every day, set aside that gift that giving that you will give God. If you earn monthly, the first day of the month, the first week of the month, if you earn after every two weeks, that first day, make it a responsibility that you know you are required. And be accountable to God because it is through this accountability and being responsible in our giving that we show that we are true stewards of God for what God has given unto us. Remember, we are just managers of all that we have. We just take care of the things that God has granted us. We are stewards. God wants us to be faithful stewards. We, he wants us to give as a show of our faithfulness in our stewardship. He has trusted us with much. He only needs a little as a show of love that indeed we appreciate that he has given us to uh, given us everything that we have number two we also acknowledge that he is supreme that he is our provider that he is our master by just responding through giving we show our love to god and our faith in him lastly when we decide to serve god with all our hearts then we should make him part and parcel of everything in our lives, our soul, our hearts, our minds, and also our finances. When we involve God in everything and serve him with our all, including our riches, including our wealth, then we are assured that we will prosper. Number two, we will have joy that comes from him. And number three, our peace will increase. There's nothing good like building a relationship, an intimate relationship with God that you know you are faithful to him and he's faithful to you because you continue to receive. You have a lot of joy, you have a lot of peace, and you continue to flourish and prosper because God will walk with you. It is something that we should learn that when we take or we make giving as a responsibility, we make it a priority and see it as a privilege, then we will give freely, without compulsion, voluntarily, without being forced, without no grudges, but cheerfully. Because it is a privilege. It is a privilege to worship God with our giving. The same way we worship him with songs and praises, let us worship him with our giving. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.